Hi guys, Brianna Nobles, the witch next door here, and this is the discovery of coffee. So as I said in a previous video, I really wanted to go into how some of our favorite foods were discovered. And what better way for me to kick this off than with one of my morning staples, coffee. Oh my god, could not live without it. And I am clearly not the only one who feels this way. Every country seems to have a unique way of preparing the coffee that gives it a distinct flavor all its own. Light roast, dark roast, and everything in between, just walking down the coffee aisle at your local grocery store offers a whole cornucopia of flavors and styles for you to try. And that's not even going into espresso, but we're going to save that revolution for another video. But who can we thank for this glory that allows me to function in the morning? <laughs> That's right, this guy. See, the legend goes that this 9th century Ethiopian goat herder started noticing that his goats were acting funny. They were jumping around and dancing and just having a whole lot more energy whenever they were eating these little red berries. So. He decides to try them too because, you know, you should always eat something that makes your goats act crazy. But he discovers the berries have the exact same effect on him. He's so excited that he grabs a handful and rushes off to the nearby monastery to show a monk. But the monk did not approve of their use and promptly threw the berries in the fire. But as the berries roasted, they started giving off a very enticing aroma. Oh yeah, we all know what that is. We love it when it's percolating. And this drew the other monks to come and investigate. The roasted beans were quickly raked from the embers, ground up, and dissolved in hot water. Because that makes perfect sense, right? But thus the world's first cup of coffee was born. Boy, I bet they were disappointed when it didn't taste as good as it smelled, huh? While some of the logic might not be sound, I, for one, am very grateful to Caldi and his herd of dancing goats. I do want to put a little disclaimer in here to say that this legend was written 800 years after the fact, so some things might have been a little romanticized. Either way, it's a great story, and there are coffee shops all over the world named after Caldi and his goats. So how do you take your coffee? Me, I just like mine with a little cream. Or are you not a coffee drinker at all? Do you prefer tea? Or how else do you start your morning and keep up your energy? Let me know in the comments. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little journey into the history of food and the legend behind how coffee was discovered. Please give this video a like if you found it entertaining and informative at all. If you want more videos like this or have always wondered how certain foods came around, just let me know in the comment section and I'll work on getting a video up for you. Until next time, make sure to thank a goat. <laughs>